What's up, family? A Florida woman left her children inside of the hot car while she went inside of the mall with a man to do a little shop lifting. And she was promptly arrested. I ain't got no problem with that. She was arrested, but not for shoplifting. She was actually arrested for child neglect and arson. Well, how so? This is how it went. Alicia Moore, 24 years old, went inside of the store to shoplift. As she's inside of the store, she looks out and sees her car on fire. Her kids are inside her car, so she drops her stolen goods. And she, well, I guess it wasn't stolen at that time, but she was trying to steal. But she drops the goods, dashes out the door. And as she dashes out the door, onlookers by this time has rescued the kids from the car. Police pull up and they take her to jail. The kids get rushed to the hospital. One of the kids, a little girl, had first degree burns and you know, it was pretty bad like around her eye. But it could have been a whole lot worse. Police suspect that the kids were inside of the car, perhaps playing with a lighter and the car caught a fire. Now, Let's take a look at Alicia Moore. Alicia also had a warrant for her arrest for stealing, well, actually mugging, allegedly mugging an old lady. The car that caught a fire was stolen. And get this, fam, she parked in a handicapped spot. This chick is a piece of work. They gave her initially a $40,000 bond and they reduced it to 15,000 reportedly. She has a court appointed lawyer. What do y'all think is going to happen? What kind of time are we looking at here? Child neglect, arson, the arson throw me off though. How can they charge her with arson? I get it like when you go out and commit a felony, somebody gets killed in the process of that felony, you get charged. But the car did not catch fire in connection to her shoplifting. So I do believe that the arson charge will be dropped. I think they're gonna slap on her wrist. I don't think she's gonna do any real time. But I do believe that she doesn't deserve those kids. She don't deserve to have those kids. I don't think they should be trying to rush them off to a foster home or anything. Hopefully, that's grandparents or aunt or an uncle or somebody who wants to take them in because she is obviously a horrible candidate for mother of the year. I'm talking about horrible. They should take the kids and sterilize her that's right, I said it. Take the kids and sterilize her. If she was going to go shoplifting, at the very least, I mean, I wouldn't advise her to go shoplifting, but if she just had to go shoplifting, the least she could have done was get a babysitter. This could have turned out a whole lot worse for those kids. They could have died in that car. And she parked the car in a handicapped spot. Well, she is mentally handicapped, so eh, kind of makes sense.
Say it with me, fam. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. No more talk. What the haters talking about?